The World Bank says that by 2050, the number of food produced needs to increase by 50% in order to address the world's population predicted at 9 billion people. You have about 500 million kids who are affected by food insecurity. Either they don't have enough food because of too much water or because of not enough water, and it's due to climate change and the devastating impacts that that's having on farmers. We need to increase the production by 50% at the same time the total agricultural land is actually reducing every single year. So getting greater yield out of the existing agricultural footprint is incredibly important. I think AI has a huge potential for the fight against hunger. So one of the good example of that is with Project Lucy. And we, as well as some other NGOs, African governments are actually trying to help enhance the infrastructure out there. And we're using artificial intelligence like IBM Watson to help farmers actually improve crop yields using less water. So through artificial intelligence, a farmer can now integrate massive sources of data, whether it's data from the combines, it's weathered satellite data, it's data from the fields. Taking all that data together and through an artificial intelligence solution, actually making recommendations to the farmer on how he can increase the production of his land. At the World Food Program, we're looking not only at how we use satellite images and AI to, to read satellite images, we're also looking at optimizing our supply chain. When we look at delivering food or food assistance to people around the world, we have a massive supply chain that needs to be optimized and again, having the, the power of an AI platform would really allow us to do that because every dollar that we can save in our supply chain is a dollar that can go to people in the form of food or food assistance of some kind. We think we can work with people in the space of machine learning to try to understand that problem better, to figure out where schools are where we could provide feeding programs, where the most vulnerable communities are where we could try to input something. And that would create both a stronger community but also really a, a stronger world. Big opportunities come with proactivity and prediction in many of these cases, predicting where famine is going to occur, a famine risk score for regions that could help with planning and proactive activities that would get the right kinds of mechanisms in place, as well as addressing uh, long-term concerns with vicious cycles that might be broken. While we can't say AI is, is general magic, it is giving us core tools to start putting in place systems that we know will help with key issues like hunger, famine, overall health and well-being.